Hey everyone, it's Leviathan here again. This here is my intro video to explain to you guys what I normally talk about for my videos that I make from this point on to help you guys out. My Leviathan universe is very prodigious. I have 15,000 plus characters and creatures that are accounted for as compared to the infinite number in this infinite onion of a multiverse. The five main heroes are notably the five most focused characters in my Leviathan universe. There's Madame Shear, founder and owner of Blader Tech Industries. There's Dentrini, who's the biological granddaughter of Satana, founder and ruler of Tartarus. And she herself is also um, the director of the Paranormal Defense. Pym is a Lunarian, which is an alien species that's currently endangered after their home star exploded. Um, Colossa is the, uh, the granddaughter of Goddess, who is the founder and leader of the Alpha Gods and creator of the Cosmos. Colossa herself has infinite growing capacity, can shoot nuclear beams from her hands, can break the fourth wall and other powers. And Kyjericus is Queen of the Mutants who's basically a woman who was mutated into a giant reptilian kaiju woman, who now protects people from kaiju-based threats. I have all of this elaborate information I could, could tell you and such, because they are all really impressive, and I really recommend that you gotta check these stuff out, because it, it will blow you away, and you know who Stanley is? Stan Lee, the guy who created Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Avengers, and all that stuff. I am planning to be as blessed as he was. And I really hope that this is the right reality. And if you guys want, I really hope that I could be able to succeed with my creations. Yeah, so basically it's really impressive stuff, and I made all of them, and I have to make it up to them. You know, because I made them exist, and I have to make it worth it for them. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. And I hope you guys have a decent understanding. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Enjoy. Double Disaster. Real name, Candy and Mandy Hudson. Height, 300 feet. Weight, 175 tons. Status, villain turned hero. Giant villain fighters. Base, Default Earth, and Alpha Earth. Intelligence, three and a half brains for each. Behavior, witty and careless. They'd love to entertain themselves. Lethality, only in terms of their size. Weaknesses, rejection and misogyny. Powers, they have great size and strength, along with the urge to get completely carried away in a fight. Eyes, light blue, hair, silvery. Formerly Brown. Origin. Candy and Mandy Hudson were identical twin sisters who had a bad habit of being mischievous. Later, they encountered Portal, who is basically a living portal system, who told them that their destinies will be ignited if they go through her portal system. As they did so, they traveled to the New York of the default Earth, along with them forever becoming 300 feet tall. When realizing this, they try to amuse themselves by wreaking havoc across the city until getting into a fight against Kyjericus. When they got into a tie, however, Candy and Mandy got bored from the destruction and combat, and they decided to be pardoned. Since then, they'll do anything to protect the two Earths, along with using a virtual reality system from the Master, founder and leader of the Blue Man Clan, whenever they wanted to spread chaos with virtual reality. Costume. Candy wears formal clothes. Mandy wears casual clothes. Team, solitary, or with other heroes. Source inspiration, sisterhood, and mischief. Here's the next character, just so you know. Lightspeed. Real name, Mary Weston. Height, six feet, half an inch. Weight, 160.5 pounds. Status, hero and defender of the Alpha Earth. Base, Florida, Alpha Earth, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, 
Cunning and willful, she'll do anything to save the innocents. Lethality, you'll never see her coming. Weaknesses, she loses control whenever she gets a caffeine overload. Powers, she could run up to light speed and faster. She could travel across time and space, can travel across dimensions, and can phase through objects via vibrations. She can also create immense cyclones just by running. Eyes, goldish hazel. Hair, blonde in a long ponytail. Origin. Mary Weston was an average woman who wanted to become an Olympic runner. One day, while training, Mary didn't get the lightning storm warning and got zapped in the process. On the big day, as soon as the race begun, Mary ran so fast that she sucked everything and everyone into a tremendous cyclone. And when she realized what's happening, she stopped running and everything, everything fell to the ground. When she wanted to take a mental break, Lightspeed ran until she discovered the civil dimension, where the two halves of heroes and villains were warring with each other to show the fate of all innocents. Eventually, Lightspeed easily handled with one of the battles and was marked as a hero. Since then, Lightspeed will always honor her destiny, always doing all she can to help those in need. Costume. She wears a black leather suit with lightning symbols on it. Games. Solitary or with other heroes. Original inspiration. DC's The Flash. Here's the last character, just so you know. Alon. Real name inapplicable. Height 30 feet, weight 6.7 tons. Status hero and ally of Terrans. Base prehistora mobile. Intelligence three brains. Behavior willful and protective and cunning. He'll do all that's needed to defeat nearly any opponent that stands in his way. Lethality only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses gunpowder. Powers. He has great size and strength, sharp claws and teeth, a long swatting tail, and is very stealthy. He wields a variety of ancient weapons that he uses with expert precision. He can also speak English. Eyes light red, hair none. Origin. In the planet Prehistora, Alon is a human Allosaurus hybrid who is a great ally and friend with the Tyrannosaurus like Terrence since they were both young. Since their childhood, Alon and Terence would be frequently bullied by the Spinosaurus-like Spiker, who's destined to be the worst tyrant in their planet. When Spiker attempted his first massacre, he was defeated by Alon and Terence and was taken to a prison isolated in a large, rocky mountain. Unfortunately, Spiker had escaped his containment, and Alon and Terence decided to make a group of prehistoric creatures and hybrids to annihilate Spiker and his own group before he continues his nefarious plans of intergalactic massacre. Costume. He wears a series of metallic armor that protects him in combat. Team Solitary with Terence and other heroes. Or inspiration? The Allosaurus. And as you could tell... Prehistora is uh, an alien planet populated with either talking prehistoric animals or human prehistoric animal hybrids. So, there's that. And also, just recently, I've made my latest illustration Captain Hyperion versus Freeloader. Captain Hyperion is inspired from Omni Man, and Freeloader is inspired from Homelander. Just so you know, they are both Hyperions, and they're both sworn enemies despite that they're both villains. They have their reasons. In due time. You know, in due time. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the stuff I've made so far. Like, you know, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. I hope you guys had a decent Father's Day and such. And I hope you guys have a fine rest of the month. You know how it is. In transmission.